Welcome to the X30, X35 product list, creation of a product list, managing a product list, and transferring of a product list. Prior to going to the field, you have the ability to add all of the seed and fertilizer products that you will be using this season. This allows for multiple varieties of products and any fertilizer blends. These products can also be modified for each season by either changing names or deleting and adding new products. To do this, you will need the 110 volt power supply that came with the monitor so that this data can be set up before seeding begins. For anyone using eye-to-eye monitor-to-monitor map sharing, this will have to be done on a single monitor and then transferred to the other monitors that will be working together. We will be using screenshots to demonstrate how products are used on the X30, X35. You'll be able to follow along with the pointer from the mouse, which is in the bottom left corner, I'm moving it right now, to follow along. To start adding products, go to the settings menu. To access the settings menu, touch on the wrench icon in the bottom left corner of the screen to access the settings. Once we have accessed the settings menu, you will need to access the products. You will be able to touch on the products button on the lower row. Next we can touch on the granular button and the top of the screen will populate with any products that were previously created in the monitor. If the monitor is new, the list will most likely be blank, this list here. To create products, touch on the new product button at the top of the products names list, right here. Once the new product button has been touched, the new product setup wizard will appear. The wizard will take you step by step through creating a new product. Each step has a step number which will be displayed at the top of the wizard. In the wizard you will have two options for creating the products. The first option is the recommended method which is by selecting the Borgo option. Any product that you select will have a calibration factor and density. The alternative method is to use the custom product. By selecting the custom product, you will need to fill in all data for the product, which is more steps, including the calibration factor and density. And all products need to have a calibration factor in order to be able to calibrate. By touching on the method you choose, it highlights white. So I'll touch on the Borgo icon, it highlights white. Continue by touching on the yellow button with the arrow in the bottom right corner of the wizard. We will be using the recommended method which is by selecting the Borgo option. Step 2 Factory Template Selection A list of both seed and fertilizer products will be displayed here in the wizard. You can scroll through the list by sliding the tab on the right hand side of the wizard. There are many products, both fertilizer and seed here. Find the product you wish to use and touch on it which will highlight it white. So if we wanted to use this product or this product, you just touch on it and it highlights white. If the product you are using is not on the list, pick a comparable product. You can make multiple varieties of both seed and fertilizer blends. So if you had multiple varieties of canola, you could have multiple canola varieties entered in here. Once the product is highlighted, white, press the yellow box with the arrow in the bottom right corner of the wizard again to proceed. Step 3. Product Name. In this step, you can choose to keep the generic name or customize the name. To add a custom name for the product, touch on the Product Name button. A 
keypad will come up to be used to enter the name. Using the on-screen keypad, you can type in the name that you want. To delete the name that's there, press the arrow back, type in the name that you want now using the keypad. Once you have your name typed in, you can press the green checkbox in the bottom right corner of the keypad. You will see that now the product name that you have entered is under product name. Now we can continue on by pressing the yellow button with the arrow in the bottom right corner of the wizard again. Step 4. Save product settings. This step will save the product to the memory of the monitor. Press the green check button in the bottom right corner of the wizard to proceed. After the wizard closes, it goes back to the granular product setup screen. It will have the product that was just created highlighted in white and the attributes for this product will be on the right hand side. You can now proceed with setting up your product attributes. To start, the at to start setting up the attributes, touch the button for the one you wish to change. You will not need to change the product type as when you select granular it defaults that to a granular product. The attribute for product density is changed by touching on the product density button. The density of the product dictates what the full volume of each compartment on the cart can max out to. If you are unsure of the density of your product you can use the calibration pail that comes with the cart. Fill the pail level with the top and weigh the full concept of the contents of the pail. Make sure the scale is zeroed out for the pail before you start. Divide the full weight of what's in the pail by 1.04 and this will give you the pounds per cubic foot. Enter this number using the keypad for your product density. Then press the green checkbox. The product rate increment button. This allows you to set an increment that will allow you to change your rate by the value you have entered. So if you want to increase or decrease your seating rate by five pounds, you would put five pounds in here, the green checkbox. Then on the seed rate controller screen, you will have a plus and minus for each tank that will allow you to use the increment value. The product rate preset 1 and product rate preset 2. Preset 1 should be set up as the primary rate you plan to seed. So if the primary rate I want to seed at is 100 pounds, I touch on the box. Type in 100, press the green checkbox. Preset 1 will also be the rate that, rate that the monitor sets to when it asks if it wants you to set to the preset rate. Preset rate 2 gives you the option of being able to have a second rate. So if there was areas of your field you wanted a different rate, you can toggle between the two very easily. So if you wanted 140 pounds an acre, type that in, hit the green checkbox, you will then have a second preset rate. If you do not want to have a second preset rate, set it the same as preset rate one. If you leave it at zero and accidentally touch zero, it's going to seed zero pounds per acre. With all your attributes for the product setup, you can now choose to create more products. If the new product button 
is not showing at the top of the list, use the scroll bar tab to go back to the top of the list. This will allow you to repeat the process for building a product by selecting product name, opens up the wizard again. Once you have all your products added to the monitor, you can proceed to add these to multiple monitors if you have, and you can also manage what is stored on the monitor. We need to be on our main screen, so if we're in our settings, we touch the running man, and then we want to go to the inventory manager. To access the inventory manager, we go down to this icon that has a garbage can, pencil, and USB stick. We want to touch that to open up the inventory manager. Now the inventory manager will be displayed on the main screen and it will say inventory manager at the top. Touch on the category button to bring up the drop down list. From the drop down list, touch on products. Once highlighted, you can then touch on the green check button in the bottom right corner of the drop down box. Now you will just see the display will show you the products that are saved in the monitor. Managing the products from one year to another is done from here. If the monitor has products that you are no longer using, you can remove them from the monitor. This is done by touching on the products that you want to remove, and more than one can be removed at a time, and they highlight white. So I will touch on this one, and I'll touch on this one, and I'll touch on this one. They are now highlighted white. To remove them, touch the garbage can button. This button here. It's going to ask you if you want to confirm the delete. When you press yes, it will permanently delete those. If you want to cancel out, press no. So if I hit yes, they are now deleted from my list in the background. If you're using a product, it will not let you delete it. So you would have to go in and remove that from your products in one of your tanks in the monitor. And an alternative to deleting products is to rename them. If you had, for example, a fertilizer blend that was very close to the blend you used before, but slightly different, you can highlight it, you can touch on the pencil, and then you can rename this product. When you're done renaming, hit the checkbox. Now with a new name, when you calibrate your product for the first time, it will save that cal factor in your monitor for you going forward for the new product. To copy your products from this monitor, you will need to have a USB drive installed in one of the USB ports. Install your USB in the ports and you will see these icons color. Now in order to transfer them to the USB stick we have to select all on the products. Touch the select all button. They'll all highlight white. To transfer them to the USB drive touch the extract button. This one here and that'll extract the files to the USB drive. Now we can press the checkbox on the dialog box because we're complete. Now we can remove the USB drive and continue to the next monitor. To copy the files onto the next monitor, insert your thumb drive, wait for the icons to highlight, then you have to press the little blue USB button. This will change it to the inventory manager USB that you'll notice along top. Touch on category. Make sure products are selected, 
hit the green checkbox. Now with all the products being displayed in the Inventory Manager USB, we can touch the Select All button again to highlight the entire list. And then we want to touch the Transfer button to start transferring to this monitor. You will get a warning that says files already exist. You want to select Select Yes to All as this will overwrite and make them the same as the original monitor. Once they are complete, hit the checkbox in the dialog box again. Now that the products have been copied to the next monitor, we can exit the Inventory Manager USB by touching on the little USB stick again. Now we are back to the regular Inventory Manager. Now that we're done copying our products over, we can now exit back to the main screen of the monitor and close the Inventory Manager by touching on the garbage can, pencil and USB stick again. This brings to a conclusion the presentation on products in the X30 and X35 monitor. Thank you for watching.